there. Today I'm on 5-1 notes combining like terms and I'm in your binder on page 2. So let's talk about what is a like term. Like terms are terms whose variables and exponents are the same. In other words, other words, they're terms that are like each other. So let's talk about this with pictures before we talk about it with math. Say we have heart plus heart plus box minus heart plus box. Okay? We want to figure out how many hearts and how many boxes do we have in order to solve this problem. So when we look at combining like terms, it's very important that we look at the signs that are in front of the numbers. And we want to categorize them by their shape, in this case, in letters when we're using with the numbers. So we're going to rearrange this to make it a little bit easier to read. We're going to have heart for this heart, plus heart for the second heart, and then I'm going to take this third heart here and I'm going to move it up here by the rest of the hearts, minus heart. Then I'm going to do my boxes, plus box, plus box. If I look at that one, I can see that I have one heart plus another heart gives me two hearts, minus a heart only gives me one heart. Then I have a box and another box, so that gives me two boxes. So my final answer would be one heart, and you could put a one there if you wanted it, one heart and two boxes would be my answer. So let's look at this in terms of letters. So if we look at this, this one is an X, this one is an X, and this one is an X. Because they all have X, they are all like terms because they all have an X. Now if we look at the next one, this one is a Y, this one is an XY, and this one is a Z. They don't have anything in common, so therefore they are all unlike terms. Because none of the variables are the same. If we look at the next example, we have xy squared, xy squared, y squared, x. Now, in this case, if we look, there's all, each one of them has an x, each one of them has a y squared, even though it's not in the same order, so therefore they are all like terms. I know what you're saying, this is Malchani, it doesn't make any sense for this one because it's out of order. But if you use the commutative property of multiplication, we can rewrite it so it matches the rest of the answers. So because the variables and the exponents are the same, they have like terms. All right, let's look at the next example. I have x squared, y squared, x, y squared, and just x squared. They're similar but they're not exactly the same. They're all unlike terms. Because none of the variables or exponents are the same. So let's look at the practice problem down at the bottom. It says directions. Place each term with the column in, I'm sorry, place each term within the column with the like terms. So if we look at the like terms, we have x, we have x squared, we have xy, we have z, and we have 12. Well, if we look at the first one, the first one is just an x, negative x. So negative x is going to go in the x column, and that's where it goes. Then I have 15z. z is the variable for this one. z variable is here, so it's going to be sorted with the z's. If I look at the next one for x squared, x squared is here, so I'm going to add 4x squared to this category. Your job is to sort the rest of the terms into their like term category. Pause the video now so that you can do this. Now that you've done your work, go ahead and check your work. Be careful with this term here. I put it in the xy category because remember with that commutative property of multiplication, we can turn around the order and it will fit into that xy category. Alright, 
let's look at the next page. So let's talk about combining like terms. You can add like terms together to make them one term. And I'm going to use different colored pens. You're welcome to use colored pencils so that you can circle in different colors so you can keep track of your numbers. Now, if we look at the first example, we have 7x plus 2x plus 4x. This is a positive 7x. Because remember, we take the sign. This is a positive. It doesn't have a, num a sign in front of it. This is a positive 2x because there's a plus sign in front of it. This is a positive 4x because there's a plus sign in front of it. They are all like terms because they all have x's, so you can just add them to make one term. Now, if we think about this, 7x plus 2x plus 4x. It's almost like, I, like we did in elementary school where you stack them, plus 2x plus 4x. You can stack them, all the x will stay, 7 plus 2 plus 4 will give me 13 x's, so my answer is going to be 13 x. These were all pink, so everything I was doing was pink. For the next one, the next example has a negative 7 x plus 2 x plus 4 x. They are all like terms, so you can just combine them, but make sure you watch out for those integer rules, because this is a negative 7 x this is a positive 2x, and this is a positive 4x. You need to be careful. We have that negative 7, and that positive 2, and the positive 4 with that negative, because if you're not, you're going to get an incorrect answer. So if we add those together, we get negative 1x. So we can write negative 1x over here. Another way of writing that is you could just write negative x. Either way is correct. For the last example, if we look at this one, we have two terms with an x. We have a 7x and we have a negative 2x, but this 4 is a constant. So it's all by itself, so it's going to be its own separate color. And there's, there's a giveaway here for how many terms are going to be in the answer because I have two colors. That means I should have two terms. So if I combine my like terms, so I have my, and I'm going to rewrite this, 7x, so I put my 7x, minus my 2x, because you always want to put your letters first, and then you want to go left to right, so 7x minus 2x, and then I'm going to put my plus 4 at the end, because I want to put my coefficient, or my, I'm sorry, my constants, all by themselves. So if I combine my 7x and my negative 2x, I get 5x. I'm combining these. And then my positive 4 is not combining with anything, so it's just going to come down. So my final answer is going to be 5x plus 4x. I'm sorry, just 4. 5x plus 4. So let's do two together down in the bottom section. It says simplify each, each expression by combining like terms. So you can use your colored pencils again. I have a 2x and a positive x. And then I have that constant of 16, that positive 16. Make sure you rewrite it. I'm going to use my colors. So I'm going to use 2x and then I have plus x. Make sure you always go left to right, front to back. And then I have plus 16. So when I do that, I get, remember there's a 1 here. 1x plus, I'm sorry, 2x plus 1x gives me 3x, and then I have plus 16. So that there is my final answer. Let's try it again in number 2. So I have a positive 5x, a negative 2x, and then I have two oops, constants. I have a positive 3 and a negative 4. Now remember I put my letters first, I'm going to go left to right, front to back, 5x minus 2x, then I'm going to do my constants, plus 3 minus 4. And it's kind of going to work like order of operations if you almost think about it. I'm going to combine all my x's, so 5 minus 2 gives me, I'm sorry, it should be, a, no, 5x minus 2x gives me 3x. Losing track of my own mind. And then positive 3 minus 4 
gives me a negative 1. So there's my answer for that one. So your job is to pause the video here, do number 3, 4, 5, and 6 by yourself. Once you're done, unpause the video and you can check your work. Alright, now that you've done your work, you're ready to check your work. So let's go through these real quick. So I have a negative 7x, a negative 16x, and a positive 5. Remember, you reorder negative 7y, and those are y's, not x's, minus 16y, then plus 5. Negative 7y minus 16y gives me negative 23y, and then this positive 5 is just going to be added, plus 5. Final answer. Two colors, two terms. If I do the next one, I have a 7 as a constant and negative 9 as a constant, and then I have a negative 3y, a positive y, and a negative 2y. Remember, you put your letters first. So I'm going to go left to right with my letters, negative 3y plus y minus 2y, and then go back to my constant, plus 7 because it's a positive, minus 9, remember a 1 can go in front of that y, negative 3y plus 1y minus 2y gives me negative 4y's, and then if I do positive 7 minus 9, I get negative 2, so there's my answer for that one. Now number 5 is a little tricky. I have a constant, but no other constants. I have a positive 5y, a negative 4y, and a positive 2y. And then I also have this negative 8x that's all by itself. So I'm going to start with my letters, and I'm always going to go in alphabetical order. So I'm going to start with my x first. I have negative 8x, then I'm going to do my y. So I have positive 5y minus 4y plus 2y, then I have that positive 3 hanging out in the back. I have negative 8x, combine all my y's, when I combine all my y's I get positive 3y, and then I have my positive 3 hanging out in the back. Final answer. On the last one, again I have my constant, so I have negative 13 and negative 7, then I have my negative 2y and my negative 4y, Put your letters first, negative 2y minus 4y, then do my constants, negative 13 minus 7, if I combine those, negative 2y minus 4y gives me negative 6y, and negative 13 minus 7 gives me negative 20. Final answer. So now that you've finished page 3 in your notes, you are now going to complete one of the activities that's posted in Vision that you can do. And once you finish that one activity, you're going to complete notes page four. Thank you and have a great day.